गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे हम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर सेवनटीन बॉब्स कंटिन्यूस टेंसेस ऑफ योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर चलिए इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल नो अबाउट हाउ वी यूज एन इवॉल्व इन कंटिन्यूस टेंस सो नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑब्जर्व द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस फर्स्ट वन इज आई एम डूइंग माई होमवर्क चलिए दिस इज द अफर्मेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ द सेंटेंस एंड दिस सेंटेंस इज इन प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस एंड द सेकेंड इज आई वॉज डूइंग माई होमवर्क दिस इज ऑल्सो द अफर्मेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ द सेंटेंस एंड दिस सेंटेंस इज इन पास्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस ओके एंड द थर्ड वन इज आई शैल बी डूइंग माई होमवर्क चलिए दिस इज ऑल्सो अफर्मेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ द सेंटेंस एंड दिस सेंटेंस इज इन फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल नो अबाउट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस चलिए दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन सेंटेंस आई एम डूइंग माई होमवर्क द वर्क आई एम डूइंग वॉट एम डूइंग इन द अब सेंटेंस टेल्स अस दैट सब्जेक्ट आई इज द स्टेट इज इन द स्टेट ऑफ डूइंग द वर्क नाउ एंड चलन इट ऑल्सो मीन्स दैट द एक्शन इज इनकम्प्लीट और कंटिन्यूस ओके द एक्शन इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन इट इज नॉट कम्प्लीट ओके ऑन एंड इज नॉट फिनिस्ड इट इज नॉट फिनिस्ड दिस फॉर्म ऑफ द टेंस इज कॉल्ड प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस ओके चलन दिस टेंस इज फॉर्म्ड बाई यूजिंग आई एन जी फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब आफ्टर इज एम और आर चिल्ड्रन फॉर मोर नॉलेज अबाउट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस अफर्मेटिव फॉर्म वी कैन सी दिस टेबल ऑल्सो ओके चिल्ड्रन इन अफर्मेटिव फॉर्म विद द फर्स्ट पर्सन वी यूज आई सॉरी द फर्स्ट पर्सन इज आई इन सिंगुलर फॉर्म एंड द प्लूरल फॉर्म ऑफ फर्स्ट पर्सन विल बी वी ओके एंड इन द प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस विद आई वी यूज एम एंड विद वी वी यूज आर and you know in the present continuous in any continuous tense we use ing form of the verb and with the second person second person is you and in plural also it is you so we use are with the second person okay and with the third person like he and she we use is okay what is used is is used with the third person okay and ing form of the verb is always used in continuous tenses the sentences will be like that i am doing my homework okay and the second is you are doing your homework and a third sentence is he is doing his or her homework okay to make the interrogative of the sentence in present continuous tense we shift is am are to the beginning of the sentence okay to make the interrogative form of the sentence okay we use is am are first of the sentence okay like that you can see here here is am okay here is are and here is uh, is <coughs> or anything else okay like that children you can see here in the interrogative form of the sentence we use is am are first of all first of all the sentence okay first one uh, first sentence is am i doing my homework okay like that and the second is are we doing my homework and the second person are you doing your homework are you doing your homework and the third person is he or she doing his or her homework with he it will be his and with she it will be her homework okay children to make the negative form of the present continuous tense we insert not we insert not where between is am are and the main verb of the sentence like here first sentence is i am not doing b shift or we insert what not we insert not where we insert not between is am are or ing form of the verb okay children and the sentences will be like that i am not doing my homework okay we are not doing 
our homework and you are not doing your homework and he or she is not doing his or her homework okay to make the interrogative negative form of the sentence in present continuous tense we shift is mr of the negative form to the beginning of the sentence okay like am i not doing my homework okay because we are forming the sentence interrogative so first of all we will have to use is am are then subject then not then ing form then object okay first of all is am are then subject then not then ing form then object okay children i hope you have understood all about present continuous tense now children we will know about past continuous tense look this first sentence this is i was doing my homework children in the past continuous tense we also use the uh, ing form of the verb okay in all the continuous tenses we use ing form of the verb but now we will know about the past continuous separately children in the past continuous tense with the first person i okay and singular persons you can say we use was okay with i and the singular persons in short you can understand with i and the singular persons we use was and with the plural persons okay plural subjects you can say plural subjects we use over okay with singular subject or i we use was and with plural subjects we use were and ing form of the verb okay children the verb was doing in this sentence was doing in the above sentence tells us that subject i was in a state of doing the work in the past means he was doing something and his work was not completed okay it was it also means that the action was going on at some time in the past this form of the tense is called past continuous tense this tense is formed by using ing form of the verb after was or over okay the affirmative form of the sentence will be like that i was doing my homework okay and you were doing your homework okay we were doing our homework and with the third person he she was doing her or his homework okay to make the interrogative form of these sentences in the past continuous tense we shift was or were to the beginning of the sentence children if you want to ask something okay if you want to make the sentence interrogative form okay you will have to put was or were to the beginning of the sentence like that was i doing my homework were you doing your homework this sentence children this sentence in the in the affirmative form was like that i was doing my homework but it is in the uh, interrogative form will be was i doing my homework okay to make the negative form of these sentences in the past continuous tense we insert between we insert not between the subject and the ing verb like this this sentence is i was not doing my homework this is negative form okay if you want to make that uh, affirmative then sentence will be like that i was doing my homework but in a negative sentence we insert not we insert not between was and doing okay children to make the interrogative negative form of the sentence in past continuous tense we shift was were of the negative form to the beginning of the sentence okay children sentences will be like that with the first person was i not doing my homework okay if you are making sentences interrogative then you will have to put was or were to the beginning of the sentence okay and not will be after subject okay like this was i not 
doing my homework okay first of all was or were then subject then not then ing then object okay children now we will know about future continuous tense first of all read this sentence shall i we doing my homework children this is uh, some hard sentence according to the present or past continuous okay i shall be doing my homework the verb shall we doing in the above sentence tells us that subject i shall be in the state of doing the work in the future okay where when in the future it also means that the action will be going on at some time in the future this form of the tense is called future continuous tense okay this tense is formed by using ing form of the verb after shall be or will be children future continuous sentences in affirmative sentence affirmative form will be like that the first person of uh, first person i we can use with i shall be okay i shall be doing my homework okay children and we shall be doing our homework children in future continuous shall be is used with only i and we with first person only okay and with second person and third person we use will be okay i and be with i and here i and here we with i and we used uh, sorry we use only shall be and any other with any other <coughs> subject we use will be okay children and sentences will be like that i shall be doing my homework you will be doing your homework and he or she will be doing her or his homework okay children to make the interrogative form of the sentence in future continuous tense we shift shall or will to the beginning of the sentence okay this is the interrogative form of the sentence children in interrogative form first of all we will have to put shall or will then subject then be then ing form then object okay you can see in the sentence shall i be doing my homework okay first of all we shift shall or will like here here is shall here is will okay first of all we shift shall then subject then be then ing form then uh, sorry object okay 